Hi. All right, friends, today we are going to learn how to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten simple zentangle patterns. So before we get started, I'm going to do ten circles to put them in. Let's get started. Okay, now that we're done with our 10 circles, now I'm gonna add patterns to put inside. I feel kind of brave, so I'm going to do it with a pen. You can do it with a pencil if you want, but I'm going to start right off with a pen with my 10 patterns. So let's think of some ideas of what we can put inside for these 10 patterns for our planning for our next project. So. Let's think about something. And the first one, let's number them. This is number one. First one, let's do some swirly whirlies. Maybe some small ones. Oh, love that one. All right, next, let's do some stripes. All right, the next one, let's do some bubbles. Next one, oh, let's do smiley faces. Hmm, let's do my favorite shape, triangles. All right, let's think about something a little crazier. I wanna try this one. I call this one rainbows. Take a wide U on top of another wide U, on top of another wide U, on top of another wide U, and I'm gonna stop. Cause then I'm gonna turn my page and start another rainbow here. So wide U, another wide U, another wide U, another wide U. What do you think we're gonna do next? You guessed it. We're gonna turn our page again. And I'm gonna start, well, I'm gonna turn it even more. I'm gonna get crazy. Look at how cool that looks. Ugh, love it. All right, let's add some clouds in here. Ooh, zigzags. Mm. 
I love this one. I call this one Miss Castillo's hair. Oh my gosh, I forgot to number them. Let me do that real quick. close one. All right, I like to call this one Mrs. Castillo's hair. It's a bunch of squiggly lines. Looks like swirly whirlies, but kind of go all over the place. Look like my hair? I think so. All right, last one. It's going to be hearts or stars. Let's go with hearts. Oh my gosh, friends, I think we did it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did we just come up with ten patterns? I think so. So now it's your turn. I need you, you, to come up with ten patterns that are different than mine. They can kind of look like mine, but I want them to be different. I want them to be your own ideas. You can do hearts, but make sure they look like different hearts. Maybe your hearts look like this. Or maybe you're going to do triangles, but maybe you're going to do triangles like this. With triangles inside of triangles inside of triangles. Or maybe you want to do swirly whirlies, but maybe you're just doing one swirly whirly. Maybe instead of regular stripes, you're doing cross stripes. So I want you to come up with your own ideas different than these here. So I'm excited to see what you make. Good luck. And different ideas for your patterns, for your Zentangle patterns. But we're gonna do some simple ideas, 10 simple ideas, and then we're gonna pick our favorites later. But we need to do this first before we move on to the next step. So the next step, pretty simple you are going to get a piece of paper. You are going to get a pencil. You're going to trace the hand that you don't draw with. So the hand that you draw with is going to hold the pencil and the hand that you don't draw with, you're going to trace. So I draw with my right hand. So I'm going to trace my left hand. So I'm going to put my hand flat on the paper. Now I have a watch, probably should take that off. Let me do that real quick. All right. I've taken off my watch. If you have a watch, you should probably take yours off. So put my hand out so I can spread out my fingers so it's easier to trace. Kind of like I'm about to give someone a high five. So with my pencil, I am going to slowly trace my hand. This is not a race, friends. I am going nice and slow. See, I wiggled too much. I went out because I went too fast. I better slow down. Just like that. All right, you see this part that I wiggled? It's okay. Do you want to know why? Because we did it with pencil. Next, I'm going to get either a pen or a marker, and I'm gonna trace my hand. So let's go do that really quick. And there we have our hand. So now that we're done with our hand, the next step we need to do is make little sections with a pencil of where we're gonna put our patterns inside of our hand. So I'm gonna make these sections, hmm. And I'm kind of divide it in half. Let's try to have one, two, three, four sections at least. 
you want to do more than four, you are welcome to do more than four sections. So I'm going to look at my pattern list. I have four sections and I'm going to pick four patterns to put inside of the sections. Let me pick my favorites really quick. I think I want to do If you would like, you can start with a pencil first. If you feel kind of brave, you can do it with a pen or a marker. I feel kind of brave. Let's see what happens when I feel kind of brave. So I'm going to make my patterns without tracing in this section. And the next section, I'll do it with a pencil. All right, I am done with my triangles. Next, I'm gonna move on to my next one. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit so you can see. Remember, I'm gonna start with my pencil so you can see what it looks like to trace. All right, friends, I think we're done. Now, you guessed it, we can do my favorite part, which is color. Let's color this in. And there we go, friends. We have our pattern centangle hand. Boom. Great job. Can't wait to see what you make. Don't forget to upload everything on our Art Google Classroom and show us what you made. Good luck. See you soon. Bye.